Hey everyone, I'm Kristen, the Anxiety Therapist, and today I'm going to be talking about the five stages of grief. Um, I felt that this was a fitting topic for this week's video because just last week I lost a friend of mine to ovarian cancer. Um, she's someone I've known since middle school and it really rattled the community in which I grew up because it was it was pretty sudden. Um, so just wanted to go through these stages, explain them a little bit and just normalize them um, so that people know that what they're experiencing is normal in, in terms of grieving and that everybody grieves differently differently and um, you know people might not experience all of the stages the these are not linear so you're not going to progress through the five stages in in sort of an orderly fashion um, you know some people will experience all of them some people won't and some people might kind of hop around um, and and revisit certain stages so just to keep that in mind as you're hearing this that it's it's not sort of like this linear progression but anyway, the first stage is denial. And so this is when we're in shock um, and we kind of avoid um, anything that is going to make that loss a reality, right? We just, we're sort of in disbelief. I think this is pretty common when we first hear about the loss of a loved one um, that we, we just can't really wrap our head around it. The second stage is anger. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we might appear a bit more aggressive or um, irritable when we're in this stage. Some people feel anger toward God um, in this stage. So anger is a really, um, a really prominent stage in the grieving process. Um, then comes bargaining. And this is when we are sort of ruminating or overthinking, um, thinking I should have done this or I could have done this. Um, we feel maybe some guilt or shame or anxiety about the loss. And then fourth is depression. Um, here we might see some changes in sleeping or eating habits. Um, we might have reduced motivation to do things. We might kind of have this sense of helplessness and um, really start like isolating ourselves from other people. And then finally, we reach hopefully the stage of acceptance. Um, and this doesn't mean that, you know, the grieving process is over and we're all good. Um, it basically just means that we are sort of adapting to this new normal. Um, we're adapting to life as, as it is now. And we've learned how to sort of um, cope with and tolerate the emotions that come along with that grief. And, you know, grief can pop up in, in the future at any point um, when we least expect it. And so it's important to know that, you know, it's not there. There's not necessarily like an end point for grief um, that we just we need to learn how to accept it when it when those feelings come up and and how to cope with them. Um, one last thing I want to mention is that grief and loss does not just apply to death. So whenever we think about grief, I think we often think about the loss of a human being. Um, whereas grief and loss can really apply to a lot of other things. So uh, one of which could be the end of a relationship. So maybe we went through a really terrible breakup or we're in the midst of a divorce. Um, you know, the, the loss of that relationship and that connection to that person will will send you through this grieving process um another situation might be um sort of the the loss of this ideal um which could relate to a parent a partner a child um you know we sort of had this idea in our minds of of what we wanted or needed this person to be i often see this um in reference to parents so we needed our parent to to be a certain way and meet our needs in a certain way and that they weren't capable of doing that. And so we sort of go through this grieving process of um, relinquishing that idea, that, that sort of ideal of what we needed from that parent and accepting who that parent is and, and what they are capable of and what, what they can actually provide to us. So. Grief and loss really shows up in um, a lot of different areas of life and um, 
So I hope you, you found this video informative and helpful and that it just kind of helps to normalize some of the emotions that you might be experiencing, whether it's the loss of a loved one or the loss of a relationship or, um, you know, kind of a, a change in, in how we relate to other people in our lives. So be sure to um, leave a comment or like this video or ask a question. Um, I have a YouTube channel if you wanna subscribe to that uh, to keep up to date on my weekly content or you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram um, at Cathartic Space Counseling. And I hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.